Hello, my name is Reed Crawford, and I'll be walking you through a new offering the Model Metrics team has put together, Platform Utilities. Currently in beta, Platform Utilities includes two features. First is based on our open source migration utility, Cloud Converter. It helps you convert an Excel spreadsheet to a force.com object and migrate the data. Second is a metadata explorer and exporter. I'll do two demonstrations. First, I'll import an app from an Excel spreadsheet. I'll start by clicking on the Platform Utilities tab. Next, I'll click on Import Your App. The first screen explains the process. You should definitely read that, but for now, I'll click on Click Here to get started. The first step is simple. You select your Excel file. So click on Choose File or Browse depending upon your browser. I have a few Excel files that I've been working with, so I'll just select one of those. The second step is to click Upload. And now you'll see the system start to process the Excel sheet into an object. It's doing several things. It creates the base object itself. It creates fields to match the columns in the spreadsheet. It creates a custom tab. It modifies the default page layout. And then it uploads the data. The whole process will take a minute or two. You can see the progress on the screen. The screen automatically updates every five seconds and will automatically advance to the next step once complete. While this is going on, you should keep in mind that the, your Excel spreadsheet will benefit from uh, several basic formatting options. These are described uh, below the Choose File dialog on the previous screen, so you can review those before uploading it. You can see we're now uh, executing a data insert. Have a couple of those. And then we're ready for step three. So for step three is we want to click over to our profiles and authorize whichever ones we want to see this new object. I'm logged in as system administrator, so I'll edit that profile and switch the tab from tab hidden to default on. Now I'll view the tab. It's an object in a tab called the 500s. I'll view all. And you'll see where I've been able to import a number of records, 500 to be exact. They're all here, and if I click on a single record, you can see what they look like. You see we have all the standard data types, strings, dates, date times, integers, doubles, percentages, phone numbers, email addresses, and URLs. And that is Import Your App. Next, let's look at the uh, Metadata Explorer. I'll start again by clicking on Platform Utilities. Next, I'll click on Metadata Explorer. And then I'll pick an object. I'll start with Account. Once account comes up, you can now see all of the metadata related to it. I have my screen set to a small resolution, so this actually scrolls to the left a little bit. If you want to see all of it, you can scroll down to the bottom and move this back and forth. It includes all information, including pick list values, formulas used to calculate it, data types, and references to other objects. So I'll click through here to the user object, and you can see that data as well. There we go. So one of the most useful aspects of the Metadata Explorer is the ability to view page layouts for a given object. So I'm back on Account, and I'm going to go ahead and switch to Layouts. And now you can see the layouts I have configured for Account. You'll notice I have a couple of different layouts. And this screen shows you several different things. It shows you whether or not uh, a field is editable, whether or not it's required, and whether or not it's even on. So for uh, these two uh, different record types, for these page layouts, you can see that there are some fields which are just missing. For example, this field right here, I'll go down to the bottom and scroll back over left so you can see it. So for example, last activity date and last modified date are not included on any of the page layouts referenced here. So that's it. Two new features for Model Metrics. 
You can add these to your org by simply creating a web tab as I have, or by uh, adding a link anyplace else in your app. I would encourage you to try these either on a dev org or on your sandbox prior to using them in production. If you're interested in taking a look at the code, it's all over in the Cloud Converter package on Google Code. You can download it, you can install it on your own server, you can do whatever you like. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Please send an email to rcarlberg at modelmetrics.com, r-c-a-r-l-b-e-r-g at modelmetrics.com, or ping me on Twitter at Reed Carlberg. Thanks very much.